guys, welcome to today's video. This is how I got 107 kills with Sun Pharaoh. No, not 108 kills like all the other recent videos with like three in a row. It's been 108 kills. I'm pretty sure I even had one that was like that I recorded recently that I got 108 kills. So yeah, but anyway, um, when I was playing this PlayStation, when I was using Sun Pharaoh, I'm pretty sure I was very tired. Um, so I probably wasn't playing <laughs> like like at some points in the recording, like I'm pretty sure like I was just playing like stupid, just, like spamming the beam and stuff. Like it was like working, but like um, I probably could have got a lot more kills. But I was like, I just want to get a hundred. I also ended the game early on fifth point because I just was like, I got the hundred. I'm done playing. I'm tired. <laughs> so like, I still got the hundred, but it actually didn't wasn't a fully complete um, match of turf takeover. So. Probably could have got, couldn't got like 20 more kills on final objective, but I was like, I just want to get the 100 and go to sleep. <laughs> um, but I'll give you guys some, I learned some new things when I was going for this game actually with the Sun Pharaoh. And a lot of the things I learned from this game going for, with Sun Pharaoh was not even related to Sun Pharaoh. It was related to capturing. I just want to give you guys some tips I learned. But anyway, I'll give some little facts about Sun Pharaoh. So, the upgrades I use are um, damage, speed, and health. I think the damage and the health upgrade are like the most important ones, but you could swap out the speed for like an ammo or a reload. Um, any of those are fine, but I like I really like the extra speed on a sunflower. Um, if, you, if you're newer to the game, I don't really recommend speed to newer players because they can't really take advantage of it as much as people who really know how to use tech and movement options so if you're newer to the game I wouldn't recommend using the speed upgrade but if you're more advanced um, I'd highly recommend checking out the speed upgrade on pretty much every single character in the roster because um, the ones that obviously have the available upgrade slots for it um, I'd highly recommend it because it's a really 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 good upgrade anyway let's talk a little bit about the primary so this primary is actually really powerful, especially up close. It has really good time to kills, like some of the fastest. Um, damage output's really good. You have a really high ammo clip. And then, fun fact about this character that a lot of people I feel like don't know, but like I noticed it like pretty early on when I started playing this game. Um, with Sun Pharaoh, you can, instead of having to tap the trigger over and over again every time you want to shoot out a burst you could just hold down the trigger and you could just keep shooting you could also do that with pops corn and pylon imp and a lot of people don't know that but um but that, that is the thing with this character you could just literally just hold down the the trigger and you could keep firing but yeah um the primary it's good at all ranges but it's definitely the best at close range but like mid range is where i would play this character um, I noticed I was kind of playing a little too far away at certain parts of this game to the point where I was like tickling the zombies not doing enough zo not doing enough damage to them so I'd highly recommend getting a lot closer to the zombies whenever you want to do more damage because when you're too far away you're like a wet paper towel you're just kind of like hitting them like it's not bad from range at all but like it's it's still still like I'd recommend moving close to the zombies if you want to do more damage. Um, but a lot of my kills during this, if you will notice, are with the solar flare beam. So the solar flare beam, in my opinion, is... I don't know if it's better than P. Gatling, but it's, in my opinion, it's one of the best abilities in the game because it has perfect accuracy and then um, it, it has a fast projectile speed in the game. So like whenever you shoot it, it's just going to hit a target no matter how far they are across the map. It's guaranteed to hit. Um, and it also has like perfect accuracy, so it's it's really accurate, and it has like over 100 DPS, and um, it's it's just really good. It's much better than the Sunbeam, which actually doesn't have perfect accuracy. Sunbeam does have more ammo, but like it does way less damage. The Solar Flare Beam like does so much DPS, it's actually kind of insane. Um, I don't know why they gave this ability to a healing class, but. Um, definitely be smart with it. Like right there, that wasn't really smart. Again, I was I was kind of tired, but I still got the share on that guy. But um, I'd highly recommend using it in a smart position because um, you could really take advantage of its extremely high DPS and projectile speed. And, um, you could even steal kills from people with it because you just tap tap it and then it'll just like instant kill. 
it's, it's insane. It's such a good ability. So if you're playing a flower like Solar Flare Beam, I hate that I'm like telling more people to use this ability because I know I'm gonna go into a lobby and there's gonna be a gazillion people using the Solar Flare Beam and I'm just gonna be like, why did I tell people about this ability? But it really is a broken ability. It's it's insane. Um, especially if you have good aim. It's, that rhymed. It has good aim. If you, if you have good aim, it's insane. Um, but yeah. Um, so right here I was taunting in front of the zombies because I wanted them to kill me so I could capture. So that's the next thing I wanted to talk about. Um, so when I'm going for these solo games, I have to switch to capture pretty early because I don't have anyone helping me capture. I don't want to. I don't rely on the random players to capture because that a lot of the times the random players don't know how to capture and they're just they're not very good at the game. So I just kind of I capture for them. That's why I do that. Cause I, I always see people like they're like, why do you switch teams? Why are you playing Rody? I'm like, oh, because I have to capture, or else the game will end and I can't. I'll, I'll only get like 20 kills, 30 kills. So it helps me keep the game going. That's why I do that. Um, so something I noticed about capping, this is what I want to talk about, is usually my go-to character for um, capturing is Rody Z, which is probably the best character for capping in the game in most scenarios and lobbies however a problem I noticed was I started using Rody Z for capturing even on and in lobbies and capture points where Rody Z is not the best choice to capture so in this video I actually tried out using um, Super Commando and I think Astronaut at one point to capture and it, it worked really well because I could kill the people on the rooftops because while Rhodey Z's health and damage output is and stun is like fantastic um, he does kind of just get beamed if there's someone on a rooftop and there's literally nothing you could do so that sucks but um, look at this tank commander like why are you trying to shoot me you do like 3 DPS from over um, but anyway no way I died to this guy um, but anyway, um, I might even start using characters like Mechanic to capture because he has a sun and he has really high DPS and bolt blasters, good for dodging beam bombs. Um, but I'd highly recommend if if you also like going for solo games, I would recommend switching to different characters and trying out new things because it's actually really helpful. Um, here I switched at two minutes and fifty seconds. I don't know why I switched so early. I think I get really paranoid from losing a run because of non-capturing. So I switched way too early and I think I knew that so I was just trolling with this HMP on the roof. Um, and I was like, I'm just gonna die here anyway. Might as well try to kill the flower. <laughs> but um, yeah, I switched a little too early here. Was there a reason for that? No, because look, I switched right back. So, uh, I thought that was kind of funny, but that really wasted a lot of time. This this game was actually really short. I think it was a little, like, around like 20 minutes. Again, there was no final point, but I still was able to get 100 kills. It's not fair. So that's cool, but... Um, yeah, I tried, I tried some new strategies for capturing. Um, but yeah, I'm even like, I'm even like, oh, I really switched too early, because there's two minutes left. And I'm putting down Goop Shrooms, which are like really good for um, killing randoms because they don't know how to kill the Goop Shrooms. Um, I love Goop Shrooms. Goop Shrooms my channel banner. But yeah, um, I actually got a game with Popscorn done the other day. Like really, really good gameplay. Um, but I switched to Cap at the end, and I, I still got the 100. But on the podium, it has me on as Reg Imp because I switched teams to capture and I didn't capture, but I still got the 100 with Popscorn. Would you guys like me to upload that video still? Because I think the gameplay is really good with Popscorn. Like it was on Great White North. Really, really cool gameplay. But, um, I want to start doing more zombies again though. I feel like I've been doing a lot of plans. But yeah, um, this game went pretty well. Um, other than me not really being good with capturing like at the right times. I probably could have squeezed in a lot more kills, but um, whatever. I still got the 100. Uh, so right here, like, Rody, like, if I was any other character, like, that wasn't really smart. I kind of just rushed in like a dummy. If I was playing, like, 
a different character, I could have like chipped them all off from range. And there was no point of switching right there, because look, the randoms captured for me. So, again, like, I got zero kills, I just wasted my time switching, so that was just kind of a waste, but, um, again, I was very sleepy whenever I, um, was making this, whenever I was playing right here, I think I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't fall back asleep, so, um, I think it was like, or it wasn't the middle of the night, I think it was like 10 a.m. or 9 a.m., but I, I was, I was very drowsy, either way, um, it was a couple of days ago. Um, but a fan actually messaged me to uh, play, said I did like a great job during this session, um, and I thought that was cool. Um, another fan actually messaged me a couple of days later in a game I was in. It was whenever I got 100 with Party Brains, I believe. Yeah, I got 100 with Party Brains, so I have that video done as well, but I haven't voiced over it yet. But um, so with he was like, oh, I was like, uh, I was like, oh, choose my next character. I'll, since you like the videos, I'll I'll let you choose my next character. And then, um, he chose computer scientist, and then I I got the hundred with computer scientist right after he asked me to do that. So if you guys ever see me in a game, don't be afraid to shoot me a message and let me know what character you would want me to do next. Also, shout out to the health upgrade right there. I have one health, and I was able to squeeze three extra kills out of health upgrade. I think the defender bot got me right there. Those things have been a pain lately, but um, yeah. Uh, if you ever see me in a game, and there's a, or if, even in my comment section or my Discord, like, if you want me to play a certain character, just let me know, and I'll, I'll do a video on that character because I really I'm trying to get all the characters done. I actually created a playlist on my channel um, for all the solo games. Uh, I'm trying to get a solo with every a solo hunter with every character in the game on video. I've already done that before, like you know, like off before I had a capture card, but I'm doing it all again. Plus, I've gotten much better at the game since then, so I think my gameplay now will be much better. Um, but I already have a... I think this is the 10th video I'm doing for 100 kills, so... Pretty cool, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get all the characters done, so if there's a character I haven't done yet that you really like, a character that you really like, or a character that you want to learn to get a little bit better with, or whatever, it doesn't matter the reason, your favorite character, um, I can I can do that character. So right here I was like, oh, let me try out Super Commando. So fun fact about Super Commando, I like barely play this character, like ever. I, I just don't really enjoy playing it to be real. I'm just kind of boring, but yeah. But I was killing all like the little potted plants, like the goop shrooms and stuff. But eventually I was able to switch switch back to Sun Pharaoh, and then. I think right here is where I just started playing like kind of autopilot. <laughs> I, I know, especially on the last two points, I played really autopilot to the point where like I, I I'm kind of scared to watch what my gameplay looks like at that point. But it's whatever. So the solar flare beam right here, see, like, just it just kills. It's such a good ability. Um, but I this paleontologist just kind of snuck up behind me and knocked out all my health. But um, sun pharaoh. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the heal flower. You could use the heal flower as a step stool to. Get up to higher places like rooftops and stuff and there's a lot of really useful areas you could get to with with this thing so definitely use take advantage of the heal flower having a hitbox that you could jump on as well as um it's fun to you could put the heal flower in front of you whenever you use the solar beam and it can actually block things like vpgs and stuff like that but see look how good the solar flare beam is i could just kill people um but yeah uh, sun pharaoh fun character I think I got metal petal done the other day too. That's, next, that's gonna be the next sunflower video. But um, let me know what your favorite sunflower is in the comments below, or just like if you have any questions or like a video suggestion, like let me know like something you want to learn to get better at in this game. Like let me know in the comments, and I could make a whole video just on that question alone. But I'm not opposed to doing that. I want to help people get better at the game. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed doing the commentary for this video, and I, I really do enjoy playing Sun Pharaoh, so. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great rest of your day. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and take care. Bye.